the year 1941, the United China Relief has been asking you to help relieve the suffering that war has brought to the people of China. Your generous help and encouragement through the National War Fund have enabled us to feed the starving, to shelter the orphans, to bring healing to the sick and wounded, and new hope to a courageous people. Now in China, Asia, and in the Pacific, the final chapters of the Second World War have been recorded. 10,000 miles away, American men shared the victory with their comrades in arms, the soldiers of China. Through long, bitter years, these men fought and fought alone. But in 1941, full realization came that China's enemy was our enemy, that her cause was our cause, and that for a common victory. bases built by Chinese men and women went the planes. The fighters and bombers built by American men and women 10,000 miles away. Planes manned by boys like these. The American from Boston, perhaps, or Duluth or San Diego. And the Chinese boys who were taught by American instructors in China or on the flying fields of Arizona. enemy, to his sorrow, learned all about the abilities of the Chinese-American composite wing. How it crippled his supply lines throughout China and on the China Sea. How it blasted the docks and warehouses that fed his war machine. Mission accomplished. Back at the base, inspection, and we meet the man in China, little flying tiger Joe. They found him a lonely refugee, fleeing from an enemy bombard home and killed his parents. But a new life began for little Joe, and he made a fine soldier. He was so good, in fact, that an entirely new rank was created for him. Assistant First 